<laughs> perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. I believe failure is not an option. I am the husband, father, and teacher of many. I passionately lead in a remarkable way that earns people's respect and makes an impact on their lives. I grew up under high expectations and went on to become the coach of the Green Bay Packers in the National Football League and am remembered for my leadership, impact on people, and effect on the game of football. On June 11, 1913, I was born into an Italian family. My dad, who was a hardworking meat packer, had high expectations and always stated, there's one way and that is the right way. When I was 12 years old, I felt a calling to the priesthood, which was taken very seriously by me and my family. Because of my family's belief, I attended a Jesuit school. Having high standards, the school definitely expected adept academics and adroit football playing. At the end of high school, I decided the priesthood was not for me. Undoubtedly, I'd much rather play football. After college, I acquired a position as high school teacher and high school football coach. I, being an Italian, was respected by peers, players, and students. When I was 45 years old, I became the head coach and general manager for the smallest town that had an official football team, the Green Bay Packers. Since I became coach, I had the first winning season in 11 years. In my second season, the Packers diligently fought to win two consecutive championships in 1961 and in 1962. In 1967, we were put to the vest in an ice bowl, which is the coldest football game on record. We had to compete in negative 36 degree wind chill weather. And to make conditions worse, our players slipped and slid across the field as if it was an ice skating rink. We had to acknowledge our strength of our opponents, the Dallas Cowboys, who were one of the best NFL football teams at the time. But however, we persevered to the end, and in the last play, my marvelous team achieved a touchdown for the win. After the game, I told my son, who just seen me coach my second to last football game. <coughs> Over the span of nine years, we triumphantly won five titles and Super Bowls one and two. Shortly after Super Bowl two, the Packers. I retired as coach from the Packers on February 1st, 1968. Because of our accomplishments, the small town of Green Bay, Wisconsin was made known to the football world. People say I was born a natural leader, and also say I'm the greatest football coach in NFL history. Compassionately, unlike some other team's coaches, I cared more about character and ability, and not about player skin color. As I led the Packers, I continued to taught more about life than just football. During my career, I coach players to never give up, to pursue their hopes and dreams, and to relentlessly pursue perfection. One of my milestone achievements was winning three consecutive championships, which had never been accomplished before. Green Bay was nicknamed Title Town, and after my death, the National Football League renamed the Super Bowl trophy after me to commemorate my life and effect on the NFL. And I led the Packers with passion and precision, resulting in becoming a lasting legacy in the National Football League and in hearts of many. All my football titles are significant because I broke records and put Green Bay on the map. I am the greatest NFL football coach in history. So, who am I? Back row, Justin. Richard Goldberg. Yes. I'm back. <laughs>